Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you training and interesting news from around the world. I would like to quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the radio Biafra director, Mazi Enamdekanu, has labeled the Nigerian army as a terrorist organization. Enamdekanu has lambasted a youth for joining the Nigerian army. He was reacting to the list, or list released by the Nigerian army for successful candidates. Namdekano gives the stages and what holds for candidates who join the Nigerian army. According to him, he says, may the soul of successful candidates please rest in peace in advance. If the BH guys don't get you, the ISIS will. If you escape the deadly two, you have the Fulani bandits to contend with, he claims. Assuming you are still alive after six months, you have repentant terrorists in uniform seven with you that will not only slit your throat at the slightest opportunity, but will give your patrol location away to their colleagues fighting you. So, in all likelihood, you will die in a BH ambush. If a, in the unlikely event you managed to survive all of the above, you have grieving relatives of innocent citizens killed by the Nigerian soldiers waiting to kill you. Only a complete fool will join the hashtag zoo army at this time. It's like signing your own death warrant. The Nigerian army is a terrorist organization in its own right. Therefore, no sensible person will join them unless you are a terrorist yourself. Shun them and save your life, he said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you agree with the submission of uh, Namdekano on the Nigerian army, claiming that the Nigerian army is a terrorist organization and that youths should shun the Nigerian army and should not join the Nigerian army at this time? Well, it is what it is. That is Namdekano's own opinion. While anybody is free to express their opinion, you know, everybody has the right to also taking their own decisions and joining whichever uh, army they feel they want to join if they are qualified to join it so it is what it is all right let's take a few reaction and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were don't forget that the level of insecurity in the country is what has really uh, affected the morale of people and that is part of what is making namdekano and several others to speak against the nigerian army at this particular point in time Fraud says, I concur because terrorists are killing peaceful and unarmed Nigerians. The army is killing peaceful and unarmed Nigerians like as terrorists. So therefore, the army is a terrorist organization that should also be proscribed. Alright guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think uh, this opinion is right or correct? That's say, Musa says, Nam the kind of criminals, you are the number one terrorist. You directed your people to kill them and you ran away and, hide and hid yourself abroad, extorting money from them in the name of Biafra. Your days are numbered, he said. Do you agree with this opinion that Nambekano's days are numbered? Well, we keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. And Rappersen says, let us be straightforward. 
The Nigerian army is more than the terrorists. They are machines designed for killing civilians. They are killer machines. Hmm. Well, this is what it is. Do you guys agree? Bobby Brown UD says, I think I believe this statement. My uncle resigned from the army due to loss of lives and due to lots of saboteurs. Saboteurs given intel to the terrorists. This is part of what Nambikano mentioned and what Nigerians have also been talking about. That uh, information is being leaked out to these insurgents who eventually, you know, use this information against them to tackle them and kill them. Well, it is what it is. Another person says, you can't generalize. Everyone in the job, no country with soldiers and and bad one must be among them. So, change your comments, Nandekano. So this person is saying that everyone, every in every army, there are bad elements. And uh, you, can, you cannot always have them 100%, you know, pure and right. Well, it is what it is. Another person says, the Lekki Massacre said it all. Let's keep Biafra and Namdekano apart. I'm still wondering the type of soldiers we had in this country that only good in wasting unarmed civilians' life. But they are weak in fighting ordinary the rag tagged terrorists or BH. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. It is only unfortunate. It is sad, honestly speaking. Teddy Adikaibe says, Nigeria is a zero security nation. Women, children, farmers, peaceful people, and those who oppose government's wrong decision are killed like ants. Well, it is what it is, guys. Do you agree with Nam Kano that the Nigerian army is a terrorist organization? Personally, I disagree with that, but I, I think I agree with him on some of the ills that has been experienced in the Nigerian army, where information has been leaked out. And this cannot be unconnected to some of the people that have sympathy for the BH guides and their cause, or some who are secretly admiring to be part of the BH insurgent, as it were, or the so-called repentance BH guys who have been integrated into the Nigerian army. All this cannot be ruled out if you'd ask me. There are chances that this are uh, how the BH gets their information, you know, from uh, on Nigeria as it were and the activities of the Nigerian army. Honestly speaking, it is sad and unfortunate that we find ourselves in this particular situation in this country. Uh, it is unfortunate. I stand to be corrected. But be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts? Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.